Welcome to a journey that could fundamentally transform your understanding of reality itself. Have you ever pondered whether the world you experience daily might not be what it seems? What if everything you believe to be true about the nature of existence was merely an illusion, a sophisticated projection from a deeper, underlying reality? This provocative idea has been explored by many thinkers, scientists, and philosophers throughout history, but it gained significant attention with the advent of simulation theory. Before we dive into the revolutionary work of Michael Talbot, let's first explore the broader concept of simulation theory. Simulation theory proposes that what we perceive as reality might actually be an artificial simulation, similar to a highly advanced computer program. This idea was popularized by philosopher Nick Bostrom, who argued that if it's possible to create such simulations, it's highly probable that we're already living in one. The theory has gained traction not only in scientific circles, but also in popular culture, influencing movies, books, and even some scientific research. One of the reasons simulation theory has become so compelling is its ability to address fundamental questions about our existence. It provides a framework for understanding the strange and inexplicable phenomena we observe in quantum mechanics and consciousness. And as technology advances, with developments in virtual reality and artificial intelligence, the idea that we might be living in a simulation becomes less far-fetched and more plausible. But what if the concept of a simulated reality is not entirely new? What if it is a modern interpretation of an ancient and profound idea, that our universe is a holographic projection? This is where Michael Talbot's groundbreaking work comes into play. Talbot's theory of the holographic universe suggests that our entire universe functions like a hologram. In a hologram, each part contains information about the whole, implying that every aspect of the universe reflects the entirety. Now, before we go deeper into Talbot's fascinating ideas, if you're looking to attract huge money effortlessly starting today, check the link in the comments below. There, you'll discover shocking wealth secrets revealed by a rogue NASA scientist. Now, let's get back into the exploration of our reality. Michael Talbot was not just an ordinary writer. He was a visionary whose ideas challenged conventional scientific and philosophical paradigms. His book, The Holographic Universe, introduced the idea that our universe operates as a hologram, where every part is intrinsically linked to the whole. This concept faced considerable resistance from the scientific community, but it also opened up new possibilities for understanding consciousness, interconnectedness, and the very fabric of reality. To truly grasp Talbot's theory, we need to explore some of the mind-bending phenomena observed in quantum mechanics. Quantum entanglement, for example, is a phenomenon where particles become interconnected in ways that defy the conventional boundaries of space and time. When two particles are entangled, the state of one instantly influences the state of the other, regardless of the distance between them. This seems to suggest that there is an underlying connection that transcends physical space, much like how a hologram operates. Another famous experiment that challenges our understanding of reality is the double-slit experiment. In this experiment, particles such as electrons are fired at a barrier with two slits. When one slit is open, the particles behave as expected, passing through the slit and hitting the detector behind it. But when both slits are open, the particles create an interference pattern, as if they were waves rather than particles. Even more bizarre, when the experiment is observed, the interference pattern disappears, and the particles behave like particles again. This suggests that the mere act of observation influences the outcome, hinting at the idea that consciousness might play a role in shaping reality. Talbot's holographic model offers a fresh perspective on these quantum phenomena. He suggests that the interconnectedness observed in quantum physics could be a result of the holographic nature of the universe. In this model, the entire universe is a projection from a deeper, more fundamental level of reality, where everything is connected in a unified field. This challenges our classical views of separation and individuality and raises profound questions about the nature of reality and the role of consciousness in shaping our experiences. 
One of the most intriguing implications of the holographic model is the idea that reality might be more malleable than we typically perceive. If reality is a projection, then our thoughts and intentions could potentially influence the physical world around us. This opens up exciting possibilities for understanding how the mind and matter interact. It suggests that human consciousness might not be a passive observer, but an active participant in shaping the reality we experience. To understand where Talbot's ideas come from, we need to look at the pioneering work of two influential figures, physicist David Bohm and neurophysiologist Carl Pribram. David Bohm, a physicist deeply influenced by the work of Albert Einstein, investigated the behavior of subatomic particles and discovered that these particles exhibit properties reminiscent of a hologram. For instance, Bohm observed that the behavior of particles seems to transcend traditional space-time constraints, hinting at a deeper underlying order, a sort of implicate order where everything is connected. Simultaneously, Carl Pribram was exploring the nature of brain function and memory. Pribram proposed that the brain processes and stores information in a way that is analogous to a hologram. According to Pribram, rather than being localized in specific areas, memories are distributed throughout the brain. This means that, much like a hologram where each part contains the entire image, the brain stores and retrieves information in a holistic manner. The convergence of these ideas suggests that both the universe and the human brain might be governed by similar holographic principles. This notion challenges traditional approaches in both physics and neuroscience, proposing that our understanding of reality might need to be re-evaluated. If subatomic particles and brain function both exhibit holographic properties, it implies a profound interconnectedness between the cosmos and human consciousness. This interconnectedness challenges the classical view of a distinct separation between the physical world and the mind. Instead, it proposes that both realms are expressions of the same underlying principle. This idea has profound implications for how we understand the relationship between mind and matter. If reality is indeed holographic, then our mental states and intentions might directly influence the physical world. In our modern world, where technology is rapidly advancing, the implications of the holographic model and simulation theory are becoming increasingly relevant. Consider the developments in virtual reality, VR, and artificial intelligence, AI. These technologies allow us to create immersive, simulated environments that can be indistinguishable from reality. As VR and AI continue to evolve, they bring us closer to the possibility of creating our own simulations, raising questions about the nature of our own reality. Could our reality be a highly advanced VR simulation? And if so, what does that mean for our understanding of existence? The holographic model also offers a new way of looking at real-world phenomena that have puzzled scientists and laypeople alike. For instance, synchronicities, meaningful coincidences that seem to defy logical explanation, might be understood as manifestations of the interconnectedness of the holographic universe. Similarly, experiences like deja vu, where a moment feels eerily familiar, could be glimpses into this deeper level of reality. Another fascinating phenomenon that could be explained by the holographic model is the Mandela Effect, where large groups of people remember events or details differently than recorded history. Could this be evidence of parallel realities or shifts in the holographic projection we call reality? These examples help ground the abstract concept of a holographic universe in everyday experiences, making it more relatable and understandable. Of course, no discussion of such groundbreaking ideas would be complete without considering the counterarguments and skepticism they face. The idea of a holographic universe and the broader simulation theory are not without their critics. Some argue that these theories are more philosophical or metaphysical than scientific, lacking empirical evidence and testability. Others believe that while these ideas are intriguing, they oversimplify the complexities of quantum mechanics and consciousness. Moreover, some critics suggest that the allure of these theories might stem from our deep-seated desire to find meaning and purpose in an otherwise chaotic and random universe. By viewing the universe as a simulation or a hologram, 
we impose a level of order and intentionality that might not actually exist. Exploring these counterarguments adds depth to our understanding and encourages us to critically evaluate the ideas we encounter. But what if we take a step further and consider the possibility that our perceptions of reality are influenced by the way our brains process information? This is where thought experiments and personal anecdotes come into play. Imagine, for a moment, that you're walking through a forest. The sights, sounds, and smells all feel incredibly real, but what if they are simply your brain's interpretation of holographically encoded information? This thought experiment challenges us to question the nature of our experiences and consider the possibility that our reality is not as fixed as it seems. The historical context and influence of Talbot's work are also worth exploring. Since the publication of The Holographic Universe, Talbot's ideas have sparked interest not only in scientific communities, but also among spiritual seekers. His work has influenced New Age thinking, alternative medicine, and even popular culture. However, Talbot's ideas have also been developed and challenged over the years. Researchers continue to explore the implications of the holographic model, and while it remains a controversial theory, it has undoubtedly left a lasting impact. One area where Talbot's ideas intersect with spiritual beliefs is the concept of Maya in Hinduism, which refers to the illusionary nature of the physical world. According to this perspective, the material world is a projection of a deeper spiritual reality, much like Talbot's holographic universe. Similarly, the idea of a divine creator orchestrating the universe aligns with the concept of a simulated reality, where a higher intelligence might be responsible for the projection we experience. As we wrap up this mind-bending journey, let's take a moment to think about what all this might really mean for us. If reality is just a projection or a simulation, how does that change the way we see our world, our relationships, and even ourselves? It's kind of like realizing that the reality we've always known might be just the tip of the iceberg, with so much more hidden beneath the surface. Imagine if everything you thought was solid and unchanging is actually part of a much bigger, interconnected whole. How might that shift your perspective on the little things in life? Maybe it makes the everyday stresses feel a bit smaller, or perhaps it opens up a whole new way of thinking about your purpose and potential. I'd love for you to really sit with these ideas and see how they resonate with your own experiences. Ask yourself, could there be more layers to reality than we've ever imagined? And if there are, what does that mean for you personally? If you're feeling curious and want to dive even deeper into this fascinating topic, there's a wealth of resources out there, books, documentaries, and more that can help you explore further. And hey, if you're also interested in uncovering some seriously powerful secrets to attracting wealth effortlessly, don't forget to check the link in the comments below. You'll learn about some shocking discoveries from a rogue NASA scientist that might just change your life. Thank you so much for joining me on this exploration. It's been an incredible ride and I hope it sparked some new thoughts and questions for you. Remember, the quest for truth is never ending. So keep questioning, keep exploring, and most importantly, keep an open mind. Until next time, take care and keep looking beyond the surface.